Hi, today I want to show you some tricks to use with the knife tool in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Turns out it's a lot more interesting than I originally thought, and I just want to show you some things I've learned. Okay, so the knife tool is right here under the eraser, and so you want to click it, and a typical thing we would do with the straight selection is to go in and lop off the end of a letter. This is something I had to do the other day. But it turns out that it's a lot more useful if you uncheck where it says auto apply because then you can go in and have a chance to fine tune so I can zoom in here and make sure that that's exactly where I want it before I apply it and make sure it's level so I want you to get in the habit of always unchecking auto apply so you have a chance to fine tune where your knife is before you apply it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you real quick is that the um, with the straight it does constrain to uh, 45 horizontal and vertical when you hold down the shift key so that's something else that's useful. One of the problems that we've had with the knife before is that it leaves a gap and let me show you what I mean. If we go um, here and cut off our triangle then you will see that let's say we were cutting vinyl apart to uh, put it on a wall of, of a large installation or something when you go to put this vinyl back together you would have a mismatch because where you took it out it had a gap so it turns out there is a remedy for this if again I'm going to uncheck auto apply if I if I draw my knife and then I go to line width you'll see that the default line thickness for a knife is 1.4 points but we can change that and the smallest we can use is 0 0.05 and you have to enter that because it won't go down that far with a toggle and enter and now you can get a very narrow knife and when you go back to apply that all right, you have to go back to select the knife and then apply it. Well now you should be able to see that the gap is very small and so when we when we fit those two pieces together there is still a nice straight diagonal. So that's another tip. You can change the thickness of your knife to 0 .05 and you can get a nice cut. We don't have to resort to the divide tool now we can go back to our knife and just narrow it to 0 0.05. So that also works with uh, these other tools which are the more interesting tools and I want to show you how these work. Again you can constrain these. Um, they don't work with the shift key but they do seem to snap to 45 horizontal and vertical and when you use these again when you use auto apply it just goes ahead and doesn't give you a chance to do anything but when you unclick auto apply which I should have already done then you get a chance to adjust everything so uncheck check auto apply I draw that and then I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to show you how this works the red dot here controls the overall height or amplitude of the pattern and this slider controls the uh, wavelength or repeating width of it so that you can get um, pretty much any kind of little wave you want here. Um, it's the same with these others. Again, the red dot controls the height and the slider controls the width of the pattern so you can get it how you want it. Then when you have it how you want it, you select that knife and apply the selected knife and it cuts. But you don't have to apply them until you're ready. The other thing you can do is you can treat this like any kind of object. You can duplicate it. So I can command click or option click and duplicate it and then I can make a new one. So now I have two and I can click both of those, apply them, takes a second, and 
and then delete this and I can get that kind of an interesting pattern. I can also do the um, method I just showed you with the width. So let's say we want to make a chevron. Okay, forgot to uncheck auto apply after just telling you not to do that. So let's say I want to make a chevron. So I'll get a chevron I like, adjusted how I want it. Then I can go up to line width. I can give myself a nice big fat line width and I can change it to corner so they're they're pointier. I guess I can't quite get a point there at that width. But anyway, then I can go back to the knife tool and then I have to go back to my select tool, select this, and apply the selected knife. And now it cuts that. So I've got a lot of different ways to use this. I can set my width, I can constrain the angle, and I can duplicate. Um, I'm not liking that for Chevron because it doesn't have the tip. So um, I'll show you another way we would do that. We would make our, I'm going to uncheck Auto Apply. We would go here, make our Chevron, and then we'll get really fancy and we'll go to our Replicate and we want to tell it we want a uh, column of three. And how's that? And we can select all of those. Go to our knife. Oops, I have to go to the knife before I can select all of those. Then I have to go back to select. A little bit tricky, but you'll get the sequence. Whatever doesn't work, you try something else. And then apply selected knife. It takes a second, but now we would have um, our chevron. If well, we need to do an even number, but. You can see that spaces it perfectly and gives us a cut. So lots of cool things we can do there. Uh, another thing we can do is use the uh, curve tool. Again, we want to auto apply. Let's say we want to cut this uh, bird. Double click to end that. Once we've got draw our curve, I click the curve tool and then just drew a curve, but we can edit it just like any other line. So we could go in and get this just exactly where we wanted it. I won't take the time to do that here, but the point is it edits just like any other line and we can get it uh, just exactly where we want it before we click the button. So we have a lot of flexibility here. Once we uncheck Auto Apply, we can edit our lines, and get it just like we want it before we use it. The other thing that's nice is that we can save these things. So let's say I want to make a stencil, uh, a stencil font, and I'm going to go in. I'm going to draw a line, and then I'm going to give it a thickness of um, five points and I'm going to make a stencil break here but let's say I want to make a five point stencil break for all my letters so I'm going to option or command copy so I have that and then I'm going to apply this one and then I can go on to the next letter and I still have this common one that I could go through and they will all be uniform. And that's something we were having trouble doing with the eraser because the eraser can't be constrained to the horizontal so it's hard to make a clean eraser break. But it turns out the knife, because you can control the thickness and control the, the angle, makes a nice, clean, consistent break. Now I could have zoomed in there and got that a little closer and I would have, but you get the, get the idea. The other thing that's interesting is because it is treated like a regular shape is um, let's say I get a scallop that I'm using for something and um, I've, I've adjusted it, whoops, got to remember to uncheck auto apply, but I've got a scallop and I sized it for something that I want just right. Um, I can actually save this with my document. I can even save this to my library. and it's just like any other shape. Until I apply it, it's able to be copied, replicated, 
saved to my library, um, shared with somebody else. So if there's something that you, a, a size scallop you use all the time, or something that goes with your logo, uh, a chevron pattern you like, you can save it b before you apply it, and then apply it over and over again as long as you keep making copies of it. So very helpful there. The other thing you can do is you can take this and you can convert it to path. And now this knife is not a knife anymore, it's a regular line that you could use to draw with or to attach to something else or whatever you want to do with it. So you can always turn a knife into a line. Um, be nice if they let us turn a line into a knife. They don't have that, but we can turn a knife into a line. So you'll see that there's a lot you can do here when you start playing with it. The last thing to show you is the same as, as an eraser when you have a um, solid shape it always is going to cut and leave you a solid shape. But if you have an uh, unfilled shape, you have the choice here to be treated as solid or outline. So what I'll show you is, if this doesn't already have a hole in it, is if we treat it as an outline and we cut across here, we apply that, then we just get an outline with a hole in it. Um, I need a solid shape for this. But if we cut this, again, I'm going to just make an unfilled shape to show you. If we cut the same one here and we say to treat unfilled shapes as solid, I did it again. then it's going to act like it did when it was filled and it was give us two parts like that. So this just depends on whether it's breaking the line or whether it's drawing a new line. So if you're not getting the results you want, you might want to change one of these. So those are just some tricks to use in the knife tool and I hope you've enjoyed this and learned something. I certainly have. Thanks a lot for watching.